There's another lunchbox. all of them. Another one of those lunch boxes.
In one fluid motion, Saga cracked open the shotgun, sending the empty hulls flying over her shoulder, and slammed the new shells in faster than she had imagined possible. Tor and Odin claim to be my family. I know Logan and I never lived here. But I don't know enough about my family history to say they're not my relatives. Mom only ever said my grandfather was bad news. The less I knew about him, the better. Vote Mayor Setter to sit in office. Saga had slid into a nightmare. A growing amount of evidence said her daughter was dead. Saga couldn't accept that. Wake said it could be undone. But Wake was gone, in the custody of the Federal Bureau of Control. Casey, her only ally, was gone too. She was alone. Agent Estevez had pulled rank on her, stonewalled her, shut her out of her own case. Saga refused to give up. She needed answers. Tor and Odin Anderson would have some. A family visit, then. No one could blame her for that. Saga was trapped in a horror story. It was manifesting itself around her like the darkness of a mental illness, pushing her deeper and deeper.
The Valhalla Nursing Home, founded in 2014 for Odin and Tor Anderson of the old gods of Asgard fame for their twilight years. Built after the return comeback tour, flip-flop to be their farewell tour, cut short, canceled. As their agent, Barry Wheeler had managed to coax a few hit songs out of them before that. Balance lays the demon, a couple of others. The old men rocked like their namesakes. The backstage parties got out of hand. The air was thick with smoke. Wheeler squinted. His migraine flared, booze and drugs. A rock and roll cliche. They ran off after every gig. Wheeler had security track them down to the craziest after parties. Doesn't make sense. Makes sense. Just getting the... Oh! Saga? What's up? Hello, Rose. Thought I'd swing by, see the family. Not a bad time, is it? Oh, no. I was just, you know, tidying the, uh... The, um... I'm so glad you're visiting again, Saga. But Odin and Tor can't see anyone today. I was just on the phone with Tor. He invited me over. Sorry, they had a little too much fun on our trip to Watery and need to rest. I need an excuse to get in and talk to them. That's too bad. Okay if I say hi to the other residents before I go. Um... Sure. They always love visitors. Come on in. Not smart to be outside when the sun goes down. I love the architecture. I always dreamed of living in a haunted Victorian manor. <laughs> you say that like it's your first time here. <laughs> Here's some of our residents, or as I like to call them, our little Vikings. Look who swung by, everyone. Norman, clothes. Norman, we have a visitor. Where are your clothes? I'm, I'm headed back to the sauna with Artie. <sighs> Just another day in Valhalla. I should really get back to work, Saga. But feel free to spend some time with Mandy May and Norman here. It's good for them to have company. Tor and Odin are here somewhere. Need to find them. Do either of you know where I could find Tor and Odin? Odin is sleeping upstairs. But your grandpa's been acting crazy. He got electrocuted when he smashed the telephone. Don't make up stories. Tor went loopy and smacked himself in the head with that hammer he's always carrying around. Tor is hurt. Something's wrong with him. Was Tor hurt badly? He never let go of that hammer when he got electrocuted. It looked like a bolt of lightning hit him. Wham! Zap! 
<laughs> Thank goodness Blum took the hammer away from him. It's not Tor's hammer, no matter what he keeps saying. <laughs> Blum has his moments, even if he is a Russian. Andy May, you can't say stuff like that. That's some fascinating network, Mandy May. What's your inspiration? Oh, uh, I don't know. It is what it wants to be. Uh, taking a break from making those little ornaments for Rose. Do you knit? I dabbled when I was pregnant. Socks, mittens, the usual stuff. Oh, how about knitting me some underwear? One more crude remark from you, Norman, and I'll put this needle in your ear. This is your home. You don't need to keep cleaning. I take that mug away, but I know you'll just find it again. And you know Mr. Blum doesn't like it when you take his work clothes. Why don't you go pick a song from the jukebox? Yes, Box Holy Ray. Just thinking about it makes my dance foot waggle. <laughs> you said I've been here before. When was the last time I visited? Let's see exactly what she thinks she remembers. Oh, it's been years. We were all so sad when you left. After the accident. Oh, fuck this. My daughter didn't drown. You're remembering wrong. She's at home watching Night Springs with her father. Mm hmm <laughs> It's useless. I need to stop the story. Mandy May and Norman said Tor is hurt. Why didn't you mention that earlier? Oh, you mean the little bump on his noggin? <sighs> it's nothing. The residents like to exaggerate. Uh-huh. I need to check Tor's room. It's the Bright Falls blended organic coffee from Old Deer Diner. Oh, wow. I've heard that the health benefits of this coffee include increased energy, improved eyesight, better lovemaking, and deeper connection to animals. With a thermos full of hot coffee close at hand, you are always prepared for what comes next. How does it taste, Yako? I feel like a million bucks. Thanks, old dear diner coffee. Bright Falls Blend Organic Coffee is brewed with care right here in the Pacific Northwest from coffee beans that are sourced locally in Puerto Rico. Try it today at Coffee World and the old dear diner. And don't forget to try the delicious brunch special this month only for Deer Fest.
Another Alex Casey lunchbox? Old gods of Asgard. So Odin and Thor had abandoned everything. Hello there, Saga Anderson. Hey, Basin, name won't make the man worse. Even a Swedish name. I'm Arti. Anything good on that jukebox? We try to do good, but only Prime comes out. <laughs> Music from my Swedish brothers, old gods of Asgard, my pals. The Berkele Vikings, Berkele. Do you know where I could find the Andersons? Oh, you can never know where. Only a seaman can know that. But even the seaman can know everything. Fair enough. Thanks anyway. Were you in the band? Minaka. No, no. Perkele, saatana, en ollut en. Not so much sweet that it fills the whole stomach. But uh, we have shared a stage or two. Rain is coming down like from the ass of Esther. Vaikka vettä hänellä kyllä on maski. Sorry, Saga. That area is for staff only. I'm greener pastures now. I shouldn't interrupt him. World War II. To watch the ocean for Axis navies and who knows what else. Ever since they sealed the bunker, it's been a hot spot for teens. The Ocean View Motel and Spa, they call it. Ironically, I believe. They go there to enjoy their beer and their vapes and electronic cigarettes. Ridiculous. The future is... <clears throat> So, the teens would drink there, do other stuff that isn't appropriate content for you listeners at home, but the bunker has a tendency to flood, especially during the winter. In the 90s, a, a group of teens went down there one Saturday night and got a little drunker than usual. The teens noticed one girl, Nora Hesberg, was missing. They figured she just went home. When Nora's folks didn't find her in her bed the next morning, they called the police. 
the authorities, they, they searched the bunker and, and found poor Nora floating in one of the flooded passages. She had a real talent for music. <laughs> Folks say they, they still hear her singing in the nursing home. Nowadays, t teens think the bunker is haunted. That doesn't stop them from going there. The police have tried to lock it up, but you know young people, they're persistent. Now, as for myself, an impartial journalist, I have lived here at the Valhalla Nursing Home for five years, and in that time, I have never heard Norris sing. Just the humming of a certain neighbor of mine who has an inexplicable love for Finnish tango. This is Tor's room. More moonshine. Was this a drunken rampage? This place is a mess. And Tor's not here. I need to keep looking. while you're performing mental and physical strengthening exercises, do you? I thought not. Sorry. Don't mind me. And now I have to start over. <laughs> Odin's in bad shape. He was drunk and watery. Or is this something more serious? That woman in the painting looks like Mom. Was I born here? Or is this more of the story? Can you hear me, Odin? <laughs> Odin Abison? Can you hear me? I need to ask you a couple of questions. Odin? He's in no shape to talk. Odin's in rough shape. What happened to him? These are our twilight years. There's darkness in the water. We have our little tricks. And so do you. What's happening? It's never felt this way before. You're all grown up, Saga, dearest. And you're back just in time. The forces of darkness are eating away at us. We're too old and weak. You have the power in you, like all Andersons. What was that? He wasn't a projection. Odin was really here. We were connected. Are they really my family? Is that why this is happening? I found a photograph of you with the cultists. How are you involved? We're too old for this brand of crazy. But we'll drink with anyone who's offering. 
The cult's been on our asses to join for years. But we already have our band. And those damn fools don't know what they're dealing with. No wonder they want a pair of legends. Tor and Odin are not part of the cult. The cult thinks there's something special about Tor and Odin. I'm starting to see it too. I've never connected to someone like this in my mind place before. How is this happening? I was glad to answer your call. Vikings are born travelers. You are a seer. You can see the truth. But your grandpa will want to tell you more himself. Wouldn't want to steal his thunder. Tor is in danger. You can save him. Is my mind place more than just a mental technique? Sometimes my mind place even baffles me. Is this the reason? Is there something more than intuition behind it? One thing at a time. Tor is in trouble. Once I help him, he can maybe tell me more. You said Tor is in danger. What's going on? Darkness is drawn to the spark. Tor only thinks with his hammer, never his head. The Prince of fucking Darkness is making a comeback. Tor is marked by darkness. I can feel it. Is he in his room? It wants to take him, and then take me. Beware of Cynthia Weaver. Bad things happen in the wellness center. Don't let her drag him under, Saga. Does Prince of Darkness refer to Scratch? Is Tor becoming taken? I need to find him before it's too late. Stop this before more people get hurt. I found Wake's clicker. What can you tell me about it? Cut off from Tom's lamp. It washed to the shore. Good work getting the light switch. The light switch is like an amp. You can play rock and roll without it, but you won't blow anyone away. Art, like Tom's writing, can change the world. But the light switch will crank that change to 11. The clicker has the power to change the story. To save Logan. This confirms what Wake said. I can't let Scratch get his hands on the clicker. By Tom's writing, Odin must mean Wake. The clicker makes Wake's writing change reality. Can I trust him with that much power? Not sure I have a choice. Tor is not okay. Something is definitely going on here. Breakfast is 
is at 7. Laura will be in the story through the orange juice. She will be at service stops at 9, lunch at 11. Tomorrow is borscht with oyster crackers. The other choice is stewed beef. I will have the borscht. Cranberry juice or water is served as well. This will put a smile back on your face, my dear. Sorry? She's one of them. There must be an overlap here somewhere. Tor's in the wellness center, isn't he? No, he's... Well, yes, but you really shouldn't go in there right now. I'm gonna need you to unlock the door. This is FBI business. It's just... There's some things that, uh... <sighs> yes, okay, I'll let you in. Thank you, Rose. Watch out for puddles. You can hurt yourself in the dark. Right. Um, thanks. That lady is a walking red flag. Be ready, Saga. Hello? 
Poor Anderson had lightning in his veins. This was rock and roll, baby. That Weaver girl had cast a spell on him. Tor would do anything she'd ask. Tor deserved this. Tor wanted this. She wanted the song. A gift. He had to get it for her. Afterwards, it was too late. Tor swung his hammer in frustration. The spark was gone. Black liquid clogged his mind. A bad trip. Tor fought it. He was strong. He'd never be taken. But the darkness could still drown him. Tor needed to warn someone. It was all happening again. Tom was back. Coming back. Tom would need help too if he was going to make it. But the brothers were too old to stop at this time. Tor had called someone. Someone who could help. The name escaped him. Drowned beneath dark water. He's hurt pretty bad, but he tore off his bandages. Why? Tor was here. Must be locked from the other side. <laughs> 